YouTube. It's been a while and I always say that it's my tagline. It's been a while because I don't always make videos. Yeah, well, I don't even know what I'm gonna talk about, but I just felt like saying hi. And uh, yeah, my hair's grown up black again. Cool. It's been that long, a month. It's been a month, yeah. And I did a French braid. I feel like my, the front part of the hair that's long. If anybody wants to know how to do this, I'll just post a comment and I'll do a tutorial, I guess. It's pretty easy, actually. Ah, well, I guess the whole point of this video is that I just wanted to say that uh, a lot of things have been happening in my life. A lot of opportunities are really opening up to me. And I've really gotten to know, and just in the last month, I got to know a lot of new people in the music industry, sort of. And I just saw them and I was like, wow, you know, some people really are singing full time in, in KL. And I thought, I wish I could be that. And I met some people who were like, who liked my voice, but my voice still needs training in a sense that I always get pitching wrong. I always get notes a bit out of tune, like a little too high or a little too low, like somebody pointed this out to me. So gonna work on that pink love pink these earrings are real pearls but <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing and you know I was hoping to just go for vocal training and after a few months just go and sing but I am slowly getting broke because I've been unemployed and today I went for two interviews so I'm pretty exhausted but it's good it's good to go out and see things and I need a job that pays and still gives me the flexibility to have this kind of colorful hair and sing and whatnot and so I'm at a point in my life where I feel I feel good but I feel somewhat insecure of the impending no I don't want to say doom <laughs> the impending unforeseen future that depends on my choices at the moment and it's a little bit scary but I have to be patient I have to be you know I have to take things slow and easy you know don't make rash decisions and I think it's gonna apply to everybody so yeah and actually that I wanted to talk number one because uh, there's a Malaysian youtuber that's gotten really famous her name is Elizabeth Tan just look her up she did uh, some really cool covers and the thing is I actually met her before she got like really very YouTube famous because a friend of mine was playing guitar for her one event I met her she's got a really good voice and she's very young she's like 20 or something like that wow and well she's famous because she's putting up her music on YouTube and she is a good singer and then I was thinking about my YouTube accounts, like I'm in Yanyamas, I'm in Yanyamas, and yeah, I guess I don't sing that well yet. Yeah, I don't sing that well yet, which is you know it's okay. I'm not gonna be really sad about that because I never had proper vocal training, so it's gonna take some time. And I just thought, you know, if I had back then if I had uploaded videos of myself singing would I have been famous by now? I guess maybe yes maybe no I don't know I like I don't want to think about those things but and I had a birthday this month so I'm getting old in a few years I will be 30 that's how old I am but it's just actually not old it's just I feel like I should have a proper career by now but you know putting that aside I realized that I realized that you know the universe and God is trying to tell me if you don't believe in God replace with universe whatever God is God and, and the universe are trying to tell me that I need to have certain experiences first before I get to where I want to be and I keep reminding myself that and I feel good about that like I studied 
you know, I worked in all kinds of places, I met all kinds of people, I went to Europe for two months, you know, I met, like, I mentioned in my hair video, like, I met my aunt who told me my family history and some things like that, and I guess it's a preparation for me before, you know, I become, like, a good singer or anything like that, because I got to realize that, you know, being famous has certain things that you need to be careful about because I met a jazz singer, you know, I saw her a few times and she was pleasant but you know she has to keep a lot of things to herself because being in the spotlight really gets a lot of attention and creepers so <laughs> that's why I'm in Yonima's here and so just want to tell you guys like if you feel like you know you're getting old and you're not exactly where you want to be well not to feel sad about it just do things take the action and do the things that will eventually lead you there and if you're not there yet it's because you need to have you need to have certain experiences so that you're better equipped for the future you and I realized that I realized this, yeah, maybe a few weeks ago, I guess. And so I'm not gonna be like sad about it that, okay, I'm not 20 years old and famous or whatever, or singing, or you know, being like a really good singer, but I'm gonna do something about it, just gonna take some time and not worry about getting old. Like, you see. All these famous people are like very young and very famous, but I mean, outwardly it looks good from the external point of view. It looks good, but you actually you don't know what's happening inside their lives. It could be a lot of nasty things going on. You just don't know. So if you haven't reached your goal in life, just you know, keep working at it, learn, learn, take your time, and I think you will get there. I think I will get there. I will. I wanted to sing and I kind of suppressed it because everybody says you can't make a living, but I have to follow my heart. I gotta work at it, and even my voice sounds weird. <laughs> had like a practice today, so that's all I'm gonna say. don't want to make this video too long and I need to go and shower and sleep too because it's like 1 a.m. oh my gosh and I'm gonna take these off I don't want to like shower with them you look pretty <laughs> so uh, lots of love oh my god my hair is so long and to those of you who are celebrating happy Chinese New Year Chinese New Year is 31st of January and 1st of February if you don't know anything about it go and google it up lunar New Year sometimes it's called and Lots of fun stuff, lots of family reunions. I like my hair. Yep. But the pink is fading, it's not so bright. Let me just take out the pins and show you. Because I'm gonna shower anyway. Yeah, basically, it's just, you know, French braid, whatever. Long hairs that I had. Ah, oh, no. Ah. And the coolest part is. Oh, ha ha ha. <laughs> Okay, that's a little crazy, but yeah, the pink's really faded. Ooh, hoo -hoo. I look like I just got out of bed. You want to see a freaky look? I just have to do this. <laughs> yeah, this is the clown. This is crusty clown, female version. Oh God, this is creepy. I will never go out like this. Don't ever ask me to go out like this. And I realized my hair grows really fast. Because it was just December. First week of December that I colored it. It's more than a centimeter growing out. Oh yes, baby. <laughs> Christina Clown. <laughs> so that's it. Yeah, so. Take time. What you do. Don't Don't be sad. Don't be sad about it. Just hang in there, you know. If you want to ask me anything, just go ahead. So I'm gonna log off now because it's coming 10 minutes. Good night and see you guys. Yeah.